Spanning four centuries, from 221 BC to 220, the Qing and Han dynasties were pivotal to Chinese history, establishing the social and cultural underpinnings of China as we know it today. Starting this April, the Metropolitan Museum of Art in Upper East New York will unveil a special exhibition dedicated to art in this period. These are the two periods when China was first unified into a single empire that was governed by a centralized government, and the pattern of governance that was established by these two dynasties lasted until the 20th century. The exhibition features more than 160 objects of Asian Chinese art and explores the role of art in creating a new and lasting Chinese cultural identity. Many people will recognize the terracotta figures that are here. They've been shown in the United States before, in fact, in 1980. But in addition to that exhibition, we have augmented that material with new discoveries from that area, including a figure of a wrestler or performer whose realistic anatomy represents a new kind of awareness of how to represent the human figure that probably owes some of its inspiration to the Greco-Roman traditions that would have been introduced into Asia by Alexander the Great in the 4th century BC. Other exhibits include extremely rare ceramics, metalwork, textiles, sculpture, painting, calligraphy, and architectural models. They come from 32 museums and archaeological institutions in China, and a majority of the works have never before seen in the West. There is so much uh, about this cultural tradition that it continues from the past down to the present, and I think that's one of the main features of the exhibition. The exhibition will be open to public from April the 3rd to July 16 this year.